How's it going, Internet? This is John from Zebra Technologies, back with another video tutorial to take you through some more of the features of my favourite utility, Zebra Technologies Stage Now. In my last video, we got Stage Now installed and set up a really basic staging profile to help us quickly and easily factory reset a Zebra Technologies Android mobile computer. In this video, we're going to go right up to fifth gear and do something pretty advanced. We're going to use Stage Now to enroll a device into an EMM under Android Enterprise. Now, getting devices managed is probably the most important thing that you're going to do during staging. So, the easier that we can make this process, the simpler our lives become as IT admins. And I'm all about the simple life. Before we get into it, let's quickly talk about Android Enterprise. Android Enterprise is a Google-driven initiative to enable the use of Android devices and apps in the workplace. And Google's done a fantastic job in providing us with a toolkit that helps get our devices out of the box, enrolled into management, and deployed to the field. Under Android Enterprise, there are a bunch of ways that we can enroll an Enterprise Fleet device into your EMM. We can scan a QR code using the device's camera, we can use NFC Bump if your EMM supports that, we can type in the EMM token and enroll using the hashtag, or you can leverage Android Enterprise Zero Touch if your reseller or carrier support that method for truly seamless out-of-the-box enrollment. There are, however, a few edge cases where the available methods that we have access to in Android Enterprise fall just a little bit short of perfect. And these use cases typically lie on the retail shop floor or out in the warehouse. What if my device is Wi-Fi only and I want to keep staging as quick and simple as possible? What if my device doesn't have a camera or NFC? What if I'm using a forklift mount device? These cases are where Stage Now steps in and starts to add value for us. Using Stage Now, we can trigger that initial Android Enterprise EMM enrollment, and all a user needs to do is scan a barcode or plug in a flash drive. Once Stage Now is done, that device is enrolled just like any other Android Enterprise managed device, letting us get on with the job of keeping the fleet operational. Stage Now is another tool in the box. We encourage you to find the optimum enrollment method for your organization. So here's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to use Stage Now to build a staging profile that will take a brand new or factory reset device, connect it to my wireless LAN, and enroll it into my EMM. In this example, I'm going to be using SOTI. Zebra has a wizard for SOTI baked right into the Stage Now user interface, but we can use Stage Now to enroll to just about any Android Enterprise recommended EMM on the market. I'll throw up a blog post later on on how to apply these same rules to enroll into a different EMM, like AirWatch, for example. So, back to your Stage Now PC Administrator tool and log in with the same password from before. Once again, click Create New Profile and set your MX version just like we did last time. I'm enrolling at TC57, running our most recent lifeguard release, so I'm going to select MX9.2. In my next video, I'll show you how to use Stage Now to load an OS version onto a Zebra Android mobile computer. We always want to be as close to recent as we possibly can with those OSs, not only to take advantage of the most recent security patches and bug fixes, but because it gives us access to some pretty great functionality. I'll show you some of that in a little bit. Click on the Enroll in an MDM wizard. Yep, we're guilty of using EMM and MDM interchangeably. And click Create. Again, type in a name that you and your staging team will be able to recognize without too much fuss and click Start. We're getting a little bit fancy here and showing you a couple of different steps in a single video. The first thing that we need to do is connect my device to a wireless network since I'm staging a brand new device and I don't have a SIM card for it. In the drop-down box, we're going to choose the option the devices I wish to provision are currently not connected to a network. You'll note here, there is an option to use the built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. I personally try to avoid this in many cases as Windows 10 has had some issues in the past with hotspot functionality. And to be fair, many corporate issued laptops tend to restrict access to this function anyway. If I'm not on my home network, I'll use my cell phone hotspot. Use whatever works for you. In this example, I'm going to be downloading a file to the device from my PC. So we just need to make sure that the Stage Now Administrator tool and any devices we're going to stage are on the same subnet. I'm going to select Wi-Fi from the drop-down box, and the next few screens are basically the Stage Now Wi-Fi connection wizard. Just follow the prompts. One of the traps that I've seen people fall into with Stage Now is overcomplicating things. Unless you have to change something, don't don't bother. Stage Now is really resilient in this way. The defaults will generally take care of you nine times out of ten. 
So the next step in the wizard tells the device to connect to our newly created wireless LAN profile. Everything here is pre-filled for us, so we just click continue again. Now, we're getting close to that actual enrollment step. So I'm just going to select SOTI from the drop-down list and hit continue. I'm going to be enrolling Android N and above, and I would not like to download a configuration file, thank you very much. Now, I need to download the SOTI agent installer onto my device. I already have a copy of the SOTI agent APK file, so you'll need to reach out to your EMM partner to get hold of their file. Once we're enrolled into Android Enterprise, the agent typically self-updates, so you don't have to worry over much about version control at this point. I'm going to tell the wizard that no, the file is not present, and I need to download it. On the next screen, we just need to specify where the file is going and where it's coming from. I'm paranoid, so I like to be verbose in my file locations, which is why I type in slash storage slash sdcard zero slash sorty.apk. Click the three dots to select the source file in the dialog box that pops up. I'm going to stick with the built-in staging server. We'll go into built-in versus external in a future video. And then click the three dots there as well to browse my PC for the APK file. Click OK and continue. And the following screen once again is pre-filled for us, so we just click continue again. Now we're actually up to enrollment. Since this is the SOTI wizard, the package and class name are pre-filled for us. For other EMMs, you'll need to get this information from your EMM partner. We do have the option here to just click continue and move on with the wizard. I'm going to change something. I'm going to set JSON values from do nothing to JSON file. By passing a JSON file to the enrollment activity in this way, we can fully automate enrollment, meaning I don't need to interact with the device at all. If I left this at do nothing, once the device is staged and enrolled, I'd actually need to go to it and enter my enrollment ID manually into the SOTI client. So just as before, we browse your PC to find the JSON file. Your EMM partner will be able to help you with the JSON file for your environment. Click continue, and then click it again because the next screen is pre-filled. And then I'm going to say no to connecting to a production network. This would be something we set if we're doing staging as a service where our depot network may differ from a production network at a customer site. Again, we'll come back to the review page in a future video. For now, just click Complete Profiles, check the barcode for PDF 417 stage now, then test. Before I move on, I want to call something out that's pretty special. If we click here on NFC slash SD slash USB and generate a .bin file, we can take that bin file, we can put it into a slash stage now folder on a USB thumb drive, and then any Zebra mobile computer running MX 9.1 or above sees the drive, sees the file, and automatically consumes it. Why is this exciting? It means that devices like the VC8300 fork mount computer can be connected and enrolled just by powering on and inserting a thumb drive. It's literally never been easier to get this kind of device staged and out onto the floor. Back on over to my TC57 though, all I need to do in order to get this factory fresh device enrolled is use the built-in barcode scanner to read the StageNow barcode that I just generated. From here I can go pour myself a drink. If you're targeting an older MX build, you may need to scan an additional barcode to skip the Google Welcome Wizard and automatically open Stage Now. In MX 9.1 and above, this extra step's been removed. I have an ever-growing backlog of Stage Now features that I'll be highlighting in future videos. But if there's something that you would like me to cover off, then let me know in the comments below. 